very many. We are delighted to have you both. Debbie, I had hoped to, to begin with a question for you, and I'm hoping you can hear us there. Um, I gather, I, I watched last night your 2019 account of how domestic violence is a personal issue for you. And I hope you could address the stigmas and how they have changed in the past few years surrounding to talking about domestic violence. So um, thank you for that question. You know, it's still really hard for me to talk about uh, my own personal situation and I never know um, what's going to, uh, how I'm going to react as we have the discussion. And as you say to me, how things have changed, I think for too many of us, um, for too many, it hasn't changed. There's still, when I was a child, I grew up in a home with a father that suffered from, you know, now we realize that many people self-medicate, take medicine. He was a drug addict, uh, probably because he had underlying problems. And his mood swings, his temperament uh, could result in very angry situations where the presence of a gun in our home was very dangerous. And there was more than one occasion uh, where we really thought that we would die. The hiding in the closets, my mother running from the house, my getting in between them trying to grab the gun, trying to keep them from killing each other. The nights he would take the door handles off all of the doors so we couldn't escape. There are a lot of memories. And I called the police then and they wouldn't even come because it was our father. It was a family that everybody knew. And you didn't think things like that could happen. It stayed in our family later. Uh, as we got that night, the worst night, the night I remember the most horrifically was the night before my youngest sister was supposed to start first grade. And I don't think she ever got over that night or was ever okay. And ultimately she was in a situation uh, that resulted in every bone in her face being broken. She was like many children uh, who've lived in homes of where they've seen this kind of um, behavior uh, and afraid to fight back. And ultimately she too died of a drug overdose. But I, I talk to a lot of people. I try to help a lot of women and even today. And it's hard for me and my mother is still alive. It's a very difficult time. We don't talk about it in, um, in I do with my sister. I can't even talk to my brother about it. I think too many women feel that stigma still. Many women are economically dependent in a situation. The pandemic has made it worse. And while I think we're more willing to acknowledge that it happens, we are have passed. We need to reauthorize, but they did pass the Violence Against Women Act in the Congress. It needs to be reauthorized. We passed it in the House. It still needs to be acted on by the Senate, uh, but there, I still think for too many, it, there are a variety of reasons that people don't talk about it, won't talk about it, and feel and are trapped in situations they shouldn't be trapped in. Thank you. 